starting with a cube, move it upwards, create a few loop cuts on either side, grab them and scale them outwards so they are round. Then create a few loop cuts down the side. From here, we'll just use the scaling tool and we will scale the edge loops in and out until we resemble a pot shape we like. Next, grab the top faces, insert, then extrude downwards. Now grab the bottom edge and create a small bevel. Grab the top edges and the one on the inside and also create a small bevel there. Then grabbing the vertices on the inside here, moving them around to make it a little bit uneven. Selecting the middle face and then cursor to select it while we're at it, shade smooth. Now insert a cube, move the cube up, scale it in and then apply the scale. In edit mode, create some more edge loops, scale them outwards so it's round. Create more up the side and then scale them just like you did with the pot and adjust it however you like to create a plant stem. I go for a little bit thicker at the bottom and thinner at the top. Grab one in the middle and then move it out to give it a bit of a curve. Yeah, I like it. From here, grab the top faces, cursor to selected, shade smooth. Loop cut at the bottom, drag it down. Insert another cube, subdivide, shade smooth, then adjust the vertices to create a little bit of an abnormal shape. This is for the main leaves of the plant. As you can see in the modifiers, we have a subdivide modifier, we can apply this. Now select everything, join it together with Control J. Yep, that looks like a pot plant. Now let's color it, adding a material. Don't forget to change the viewport shading. Adjusting the different materials and assigning them to different parts. Pressing L on any one object will actually select that whole object. So I use this to quickly color things. And I'll just grab different edges and faces and then color them how I like. Using this same technique, you can create plants like this, this, or this. It's up to you. It's your imagination. Do what you want. Done. Oh. And don't forget to name it.